Hello and welcome to Perivash Viskoflur. In the wise today sits a clean camera. And this is what I'm gonna tie today. Let's start with uh, telling you a little about this clean camera. This pattern was uh, made by Hans von Klinken. I don't know why. Uh, yes, I know why. It was uh, it was in fishing in Gloma, I think, after grailing. And uh, this fly is to build on this hook, clean camera extreme size 14. Uh, this hook was uh, designed by Hans von Klinken himself. Uh, I made some, uh, I think, some improvements. Some may not mean the same, but uh, I uh, changed. A uh, little material in this. Um, well, uh, the meaning with this fly is most of this body is gonna hang under the surface film uh, and it's gonna hang in uh, the thorax and the hackle. This is what gun resides on the top of the water. Well, uh, some of the materials on the body here. I have super fine, super fine dry fly dubbing. This one and the hook you have seen. This is a partridge clean camera extreme size 14. Uh, I use uh, some, uh, this is the replacement. Instead of peacock, peacock, I use uh, peacock dubbing, flashy stuff. And on the as used for the wing, I use this poly multifill from Stonefall in size white. Sorry, sorry, color white. Well, I use some uh, Semperfly brown wax thread. I think is size. Uh, 12 out. I don't know uh, the exact size, it's not so important. Well, I just start with um, placing a new hook in the vise. Take it out of the bag. Don't try. Try to get just one. Small little rascals. Well, place it in the Twice, like this, just squeeze on the jaws. This is a regal medallion, stainless steel, jaw, steel jaws. And I start, uh, as I usual, with attaching the wing. And I attach the wing just on the bend here. You see this hook has a little flat, uh, flat uh, part here. There is where the body and the wing is gonna sit, and the uh, and thorax and the wing, and the rest of the body is gonna be on this curved part. Well, I take out some uh, wing material like this, and then take one strand from this uh, poly multifill. It looks like this when it's out of the bag. Whoa, that was bright. Well, I just double it on the time tread like this, double it and just place it just where I want it and change hands, some wraps around and I don't need all this so I shorten it a little bit much easier. Well, take a few wraps, just walk around, use your fingers to make a base for the hackle. 
some do this with a uh, super glue just a little dab and just twist I won't do that today well now it's time for using the hackle oh my goodness I, I forgot the hackle sorry the hackle is this kind whiting rooster saddle I like saddles because I uh, use uh, many flies of the same size and uh, mainly the size I use is a 12 and 14 and this uh, this neck is sorry <laughs> just uh, saying wrong things today this saddle is uh, is just enough for me and I find myself a little long feather here I used to uh, tie one fly all one fly already just strip off some fibers on the stem here like this like this and I just place it tight in with a beer stem and just use this tight around the base the wing so securing wraps there well some saliva on the fingers just to make the wing okay then I take some dubbing I used the uh, well what is called that's that's just the same this is a golden olive I can then take that I think it's golden olive it was on the that's that compartment in the box so well just take on very little mount to start with and wrap downwards make this little out of the way Okay, and then go upwards again. And take on some more dubbing. I think it's more, more easier to take on some more dubbing than to take it off. It's easier. Well, just move on onto the thorax. I think maybe a little more maybe a little more just a little bit like that well just carefully take some more on until the base of the wing and then i take out some peacock dubbing this is Starburst from Fly Ties Dungeon. But uh, a lot of companies has this kind of dubbing, so just to find the one you like. This is the long fiber dubbing, so maybe you can tear some some of it in two. Just have to go for from to the hook hook eye a little back you take on some more like that well round the base both sides like that and now comes the trick you take the tread and make it around the post like this and just hang it in the front because I'm gonna take this hook and place it like this and you see now this thread is hanging down from the wing post okay this uh, hackle is so long that you can 
use your hands or a hackle hackle uh, hackle clem hackle uh, tool but I use my hands because this is a salon and uh, wrap it around the post uh, it's just as many times you like until you see it's filled up like this and just tie off this feather and tear the feather a little aside and snip it off try not to cut off too many fibers like this and for also us who like to do whip finish by hand they do that and uh, other ones they use uh, whip finish tool uh, on this fly I use whip finish by hand it's a technique you can see look it up on the YouTube you can see a lot of people doing this and uh, so am I so just take out some thread and do some whip finish under the hackle like this and just finish it off like that and zap there we have it there you have it and just snip off the thread and you can take the fly out of the vise and place it in the right position you can also do this and you measure the wing how long do you want the wing and tear out some fibers that you don't want and I cut my wing in a 45 degree manner just to look like an ordinary wing like that there we have the clean camera you see the fibers is sticking a little bit out but this is a uh, more than a fish, fish catcher because and you can also I like to have the hackle maybe any more any longer I think but not uh, shorter than this one because uh, too short of a hackle they don't um, make the fly land properly so this is a clean camera and this is ready to catch some fish so thank you all for watching my video and uh, I welcome you back to my next bye for now and happy days